culmination of a couple of days of really, really hot weather and training and the start of competition, he was just a bit flat. His batteries ran out today. It's more trying just to keep the horse able to peak and, and really use his power within the minutes allocated, which is very difficult because you've usually got a very set routine that you stick to. And obviously on hot days, you have to adjust that. And then you never know if it's too little or too much. Or, and I think maybe today was a bit too much. I can easily say that in the equestrian sport, the standard has elevated itself exponentially. Um, I don't think any other para sport has evolved as quickly as the para sport. You know, when I started in 2002, it was just at the end of where they were having borrowed horse competitions and people were starting to bring their own horses. And now if you look at the firepower going down that sense line, most of these horses could be competing with international able-bodied riders. It's been fabulous, you know, for the ones we've actually been relatively close, we're only 25 minutes away from the village. So we've had a lot of interaction with the rest of the team. You know, it's difficult for the rest of the team because I'm based over in Belgium. They never really get to meet me. So I'm just the strange chick with the horses. Um, but it's nice, it's nice meeting everyone, seeing old friends from previous games. Who you only ever see once every four years. It's a lovely touching base with them and seeing them again. Um, and it really has just been the most incredible atmosphere.